Welcome to another session of corrosion. Today we are going to look into dry corrosion which is also called as chemical corrosion. Before we move on, subscribe for more informative videos and tap the like button if you like the video and drop in your comments. At the end of the session, you will be able to mention the cause of corrosion, enumerate the types of corrosion, explain the mechanism of dry corrosion and describe the types of metal oxide layers and also state pilling bedwards rule. First, let us understand what is corrosion. Corrosion is the process of deterioration, destruction or degradation of the metal which starts at the surface when exposed to a chemical or electrochemical environment. That is, the metal first undergoes corrosion at the surface because the inner metal is not exposed to any environment. When the metal is exposed to a chemical or electrochemical en environment, it undergoes corrosion. When I pose a question, give me an example of corrosion. Have you ever seen corrosion occurring in your daily life then your answer will be immediately you will answer that it is rust as because we are used to seeing rust formation in our daily life you see that nails are being rusted lock is rusted a gate is rusted in our day-to-day -day life we are seeing it so rust is one form of corrosion but it is not the only type of corrosion and another important thing to note is corrosion not only occurs in metals, it also occurs in non-metallic materials such as plastics, concretes and composites. But in this session, we are going to look into only metals. First, we should understand why does corrosion occur? Why should a metal undergo corrosion? Then, I will pose a question. How are the metal existing in nature? How are we getting the metals from nature? Are we getting copper, aluminium directly from nature? No. Except for some noble metals, most of the metals occur in the combined form. That is, it is present in the form of ores as oxides, chlorides, sulfates or carbonates. Then the answer is with you. That is, these metals are more stable in the combined form. So, even when we extract the metals, any opportunity given to it, it will try to go back to the combined state because that is its stable state. That is why the corrosion is occurring in metals. So there are two types of corrosion. One is dry corrosion, which is also called as chemical corrosion. We call it as dry corrosion because it occurs in the absence of moisture or any wet medium. And it is called as chemical corrosion because it occurs in the presence of some chemicals but in the absence of moisture or any wet medium. Next is wet corrosion which happens in the presence of moisture or any medium such as acid or alkali. Then we call this as electrochemical corrosion because it undergoes electrochemical process. So in under dry corrosion we are going to see types of dry corrosion, pilling bedwards rule and types of oxide layers but wet corrosion under all these headings we have separate videos. The video link is at the top you can watch these videos later. There are three types of dry corrosion. One is oxidation corrosion. Actually it is the attack of oxygen directly on the metal because most of the metals undergo oxidation corrosion we have categorized it under separate category. Next is other than oxygen, any other gas when it attacks the metal, we call it as corrosion by other gases such as chlorine, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide, H2S etc. Next comes the liquid metal corrosion that is flowing liquid. For example, assume that a molten liquid is flowing inside a metal pipeline. This molten liquid when it is having a turbulent action inside it can lead to corrosion over the solid metal this we call it as liquid metal corrosion in this session we are going to see only the oxidation corrosion we look into the mechanism of dry corrosion assume that there is a piece of metal all the four sides we have the surface but i am showing you only on one side the reaction that is, when the metal comes in contact with the oxygen, metal undergoes oxidin, uh, oxidation to form metal ion and oxygen undergoes reduction to form oxide ion. And this metal ion and oxide ion combines to form metal oxide. Now, will the metal which is inside the metal oxide layer undergo further corrosion or not? This will be decided based on the nature of the metal oxide. The same thing is represented as reaction. Metal undergoes oxidation and oxygen undergoes reduction. Both these combine to form the metal oxide. Now we look into the nature of the oxide layer. 
First is stable metal oxide layer. That is, when the metal is in contact with the atmospheric oxygen, it forms a metal oxide layer and this layer is very firm and adherent and densely packed. So, this we call it as a stable layer because it acts as a protective layer and does not allow the atmospheric oxygen to come in contact with the metal. So, definitely this will not undergo further, further corrosion. So, we call it a stable metal layer, metal oxide layer and it occurs in metals like aluminium, tin, lead, copper etc. Next comes the unstable metal oxide layer. This is a very typical layer. That is, when the metal comes in contact with the oxygen present in the atmosphere, it forms a very, very unstable metal oxide layer that it immediately returns back to form metal and oxygen. That is, we'll almost not even know whether it has formed a metal oxide layer or not. It is very, very unstable. This happens in noble metals like gold, silver and platinum. That is why we see that even after 40 or 50 years, gold does not undergo corrosion. Next comes the porous metal oxide layer. This is a very interesting but very dangerous metal oxide layer. That is when the metal comes in contact with the oxygen present in the atmosphere, it forms a metal oxide layer which is highly porous in nature. So easily it will form cracks and the oxygen present in the atmosphere can penetrate through the pores and the metal which is present inside this metal oxide layer will come in contact with the oxygen and undergo further corrosion. So over a period of time we see that the whole metal undergoes corrosion. This happens in metals like sodium, potassium, magnesium and lithium. And volatile metal oxide layer, it's again even more dangerous than the porous metal oxide layer that is molybdenum. For example, this metal when it comes in contact with oxygen, it forms a molybdenum oxide layer which is very volatile. Volatile means it evaporates. When this metal oxide layer evaporates, we have a metal which is much smaller than this size. You see that. Because this part has, this portion of metal oxide has already escaped. Then the metal is freshly available to undergo corrosion by reacting with the atmospheric oxygen. So this type of corrosion is very drastic. In very some uh, little time we see that the metal totally undergoes corrosion. And this can be very easily explained by Pilling Bedward's rule. That is, if the volume of metal oxide is more than or equal to the volume of the metal from which it is formed, the metal oxide layer is stable, non-porous and protective, nature, protective in nature. That is, if the volume of the metal oxide is more than, that means it is much denser, much firm. So, this volume is more than the volume of the metal from which it is formed. So, automatically it will be a protective layer and this happens in aluminium, tin, lead, copper etc. as we saw in the previous slide. If the volume of the metal oxide is less than the volume of the metal from which it is formed, the metal oxide layer is porous and non-protective in nature. That is, if it is less, that means it is very, very loosely packed. It is not very dense. So, very easily the oxygen can penetrate to, through this porous layer and it can undergo further corrosion. It happens in sodium, potassium, magnesium, lithium etc. So, it is very easy for us to tell based on the ratio of the volume of the metal oxide and the volume of the metal from which it has formed. We can tell whether it will form a protective layer or a non-protective metal oxide layer. This is all for this session. Let us meet again in another session. Until then, bye-bye. Don't forget to subscribe. Drop in your comments and tap the like button if you like the video. Bye.